Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the types of carbon nanotubes. So, coming to the carbon nanotubes, they can be obtained by rolling graphite sheet of one atom thickness. In general, the graphite sheet of one atom thickness is called as graphene sheet. And coming to the graphene sheet, generally graphene sheet is planar in nature. And in order to define a graphene sheet, we require only two indices such as N and M. So, coming to the formation of these carbon nanotubes, they can be obtained by rolling this graphene sheet. So, whenever graphene sheet is rolled, then it results in the formation of tube-like structure and they will be called as carbon nanotubes. So, whenever graphene sheet is rolled, then it results in the formation of tube-like structure and these structures are called as carbon nanotubes. So, these carbon nanotubes can be classified into two categories, namely single-walled carbon nanotubes and multi-walled carbon nanotubes. So, whenever the graphene sheet is rolled at once, then it results in the formation of single-walled nanotube. And whenever this graphene sheet is rolled multiple times, then it results in the formation of multi-walled carbon nanotubes. It consists of number of layers. And the inter layer distance between the two walls is around 3.3 Armstrong units. So, let us see the detailed structures of single walled nanotubes and multi walled carbon nanotubes. So, coming to the single walled carbon nanotubes, generally by rolling the graphene sheet at once, it results in the formation of single-walled nanotubes. So, it is good example for single-walled nanotube. So, once if we carefully examine this carbon nanotube, these carbon nanotubes consist of hexagonal ring structures. So, these carbon nanotubes consist of hexagonal ring structures. Since they are obtained by rolling the graphene sheet, graphene sheet itself consists of hexagonal ring structures. So, whenever this graphene sheet is rolled at once, then it results in the formation of single walled nanotube. So, it is the simple structure of single walled carbon nanotube. So, coming to the single walled carbon nanotubes, we require two indices to define the carbon nanotubes. So, depending upon the values of N and M, again these single walled carbon nanotubes can be subdivided into three categories. So, if at all, if the value of 
m is equal to 0 then it results in the formation of zigzag carbon nanotubes at the same time if the value of m is equal to n then it results in the formation of armchair carbon nanotubes otherwise the carbon nanotubes will have chiral structure chiral structure means they have symmetrical structure so zigzag structure means these carbon nanotubes will have this kind of structure it is called as zigzag structure whenever the two values are equal that means if m equal to n then it results in the formation of armchair structure that means the structure of nanotubes will appear like this and these structures are called as arm chain structures so if one of the value is equal to 0 then it results in the formation of zigzag structures if both the values are one and the same then it results in the formation of arm chain structure otherwise what happens it results in the formation of chiral carbon nanotubes that means both are symmetrical to each other and coming to the multi walled carbon nanotubes generally they can be obtained by rolling the graphene sheet number of times so let us see the simple structure let us consider a multiple multi walled carbon nanotube consisting of two layers then here the inter layer distance in multi walled nanotubes is approximately 3.3 amstrom units in general these carbon nanotubes are having a diameter around 1 nanometer so again they also consist of hexagonal structures in general they consist of armchair structures So the second layer also consists of hexagonal ring structures. So this is the simple way of representing multi walled carbon nanotubes and coming to the importance of these multi walled carbon nanotubes they can be used as conductors or they can also be used as semiconductors so carbon nanotubes can be obtained by rolling graphene sheet then it results in the formation of tube like structure and those tubes are called as carbon nanotubes again carbon nanotubes are classified into two categories single walled carbon nanotubes and multi walled carbon nanotubes if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day